Hey y'all, this is Chris from Toronto and you're watching Trucker Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Morning, Weasel. Morning, you fine people. We're at 101 Travel Plaza near Jackson, Tennessee. Stepping out first time in the morning. Drinking in that fresh air. Look at this, look at this. Green grass. So we have this empty flatbed behind us and we're waiting for our load to be ready. Load's not going to be ready until 3 or 4 o'clock this afternoon. Then I gotta go there, drop this empty off for them, hook onto the loaded one, tie it down. Hopefully it's got no boxes on it, because if it has boxes on it, the boxes need to be tarped. It's probably going to have boxes on it. And then we head up to Fort McMurray, Alberta, which is about a four-day drive from here. I could maybe do it in three and a half if I rushed, but since we're only getting started, probably after supper today. Probably gonna be a good four days to get there. That's good, keeps me busy. It's gonna be cold up there. Not gonna be this warm. Gonna, no, no green grass up in Fort McMurray, Northern Alberta. Last I heard they were at about minus 40, minus 45 degrees. I'd like to stay with the green grass actually myself. A little cold for Tennessee still, I understand. Tennessee people are probably just freezing their, freezing their faces off in this, but this, to me, this is beautiful. This is like springtime. What's up, Scotty? That's Scotty. Got it from my friend in Scotland. Rides with us every day, right, Diesel? All right, come on, bud. You buy him five steps, he only uses two. Whoa, almost dropped you guys. Let's go for a little bit of a walk here, bud. RV park. I don't see an RV park anywhere. You could park your RV here. It's kind of an older truck stop, gravel parking lot. The sign looks like it's probably from the 1940s and hasn't been updated or cleaned since. But I'm sure the store's really nice inside. I don't know what this sign is for, but like I said, this is a very old place here. I'm sure it meant something at one point. It still has power hooked up to it. Wonder what's on the other side of this sign. I would just take this down if I own this place. That is, it's a bit of an eyesore. But look, they use it for those new yard lights. You see those two lights up there? Instead of putting up a new pole, they just stuck these new fancy LED yard lights. That's why I had parked back here because these things are so bright and they light up my truck at night. So nobody comes and steals my fuel. I can still park at the back. So they got the power's probably for those, I'm guessing. What's on this side? Oh, this side makes more sense. This side says truck stop. So that everybody over there knows there's a truck stop here. Hey, go, 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 go! <laughs> Who gonna get you? Can he come back again? No, oh, he's going for. Don't go too far in there, bud. There's snakes in these woods. And he goes right in there. Okay, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. I know, man. I want to explore them too. These woods remind me very much of ours back at home. But you see, I know our property. And I know what critters lie within. Here, I have no idea. I've been walking, or I've, I've gone through the woods like this in Tennessee before, not too far from here. And came across a, I think it was called a black racer snake once. It didn't bother me or anything, I didn't bother it. it. We just sat there and stared at each other for a minute or two and then he slithered off, did his thing. 
but uh, it made me realize, you know, I, I really don't know what's out there. And I don't want to come across something that I'm not familiar with. So I gotta be careful. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna go explore the wood. I just, I'm just saying, you just gotta be careful. And I'd like to have uh, diesel on the leash if we do go exploring in there, just so that, you know, if, if I see a snake approaching him or if I see him messing with a snake, I can pull him out of that situation. It's for his own safety. But uh, I don't think I have too much to worry about in the Tennessee woods. It's more so when you go, uh, you know, for the, the warmer the climate, the more kind of weird critters you got lurking about. One thing I love about living up in Manitoba, where I do, like at home right now, it's minus 40, minus 30, somewhere in there. That will kill anything that would want to kill me. You know what I mean? So all those deadly spiders, they're dead. Deadly snakes, they're dead. Anything poisonous is dead. There's nothing poisonous you gotta worry about. You gotta worry about wood ticks in the springtime. Uh, they carry uh, Lyme disease and stuff. You don't wanna get too many, you don't wanna get wood ticks, it's risky. We have a lot of those in the beginning of summer. Uh, yeah, sure, there's bears, but bears are more scared of you than you are of them. You don't gotta worry about bears. Black bears, they'll just, they'll hear you coming as long as you don't sneak up on them with their cubs. I mean, they'll hear you coming and they'll run off. They'll, they're not gonna mess with you. We got wolves, same thing. They won't mess with you, except at night. You don't want to be in the bush alone at night because they're hungry looking for food and you're a tasty snack. And they'll see you, but you won't see them. But bear attacks and wolf attacks are unheard of where I'm from. It just doesn't happen. That doesn't mean it couldn't happen, but you just, it never does because I guess people just know not to mess with them. I don't know. But at least it's not poisonous. You know, a bear, sure, he could maul you to death, but at least it's not gonna slowly kill you with poison. It'll slowly kill you with its teeth. You're such a good boy, you know that? You know, through the years, he's gotten so much better. He used to be just wild running all over here. I would never let him off leash this close to a highway, even though there's a fence over there. He can't get to the highway, I checked. I, otherwise, I, I still wouldn't let him loose if he could get to the freeway. But even with the fence there, when he was younger, like, a year to five years old, I would never have let him loose this close to a highway because he would just bolt all over the place. It was very hard to train him. And as he's gotten older, look at this. I didn't tell him to lay down there. I didn't tell him to do that. He just follows me everywhere. He's just an old man now. I'm just an old man now, man. Just out here at the venture of life, man. Staring off into the vast wilderness with you. It's a great life, man. It's a great life. I know, right? That's what I like doing. I guess he knows me by now. I just like coming out and just staring off into the wilderness. And they got woods here. In Canada, we call this the bush. It's where you'll usually find me. If you're looking for me, I'm usually in the bush. I just don't know what's in this bush. There's some bushes I do not explore though. Uh, if you got crocodiles, I guess out here in North America would be alligators. If you got anything like that, I will stay on the short cut grass. Rattlesnakes, don't like them either. You got rattlesnakes around there, I'll stay away from them. That SUV had golden, like 30 inch rims. I think I just saw a drug dealer. Well, it's the very next morning right now, and I have reattached the old fluffy mic. Okay. Well, everybody, look at this green grass around here. A lot of it's brown, but there's a lot of it that's green. Get a good look at it. Because you're not going to see it again for a long time. Not in my videos. We're leaving Jackson, Tennessee right now with this load. And we're headed up to Fort McMurray, Alberta, which is in northern Alberta. It's going to be cold. So I took as much warmth as I could inside my truck and I tied as much as I could of it down onto my trailer. We're taking it all back home. Take US 412 Dive Drive and then take to the left in 360 meters. Hear that? I'm taking it all back home. 
I saw the blizzard that Newfoundland Labrador got. A lot of people buried in their homes. They got so much snow. It's crazy. Look it up online. Google the uh, you know, latest Newfoundland, spelt Newfoundland, Newfoundland blizzard. 300 meters. Take US 412 Dad Drive and then keep to the left in 360 meters. There's literally so much snow there that people opened the doors to, of their homes and it was completely blocked off with snow. It buried their home. Lots of people had that problem, so it's, it's pretty crazy out there right now. Hope you guys are digging yourselves out already. 200 meters, keep to the left on US 412 Alambo and then slide right in 100 meters. So this journey from Jackson, Tennessee to Fort McMurray, Alberta is 3,700 kilometers. That's 37 hours just of driving. So it takes us four days to get there. I could get there in about three and a half if we push it, but there's no need to push it because I only need to be there in five days. We have plenty of time to get there. So take her easy, take her slow, try to save as much fuel as we can. Slowly make our way up there. I am in no rush to get back up to the snow. I'm gonna soak all of this nice weather up. Soak it all up as much as I can. Try to warm my bones up because it's winter's coming. We're just into Missouri here. I'm gonna quickly stop at the pilot here, grab another coffee. I'm craving another one. I already had one this morning, but I'm gonna have another one because it's a special day. There's no snow. It's a special day, I'm in a good mood. I'm gonna have another one. And this is where we're gonna end today's vlog. So this is sort of two days put into one. I'm gonna start tomorrow's from here. I'll show you the load yet before we end this day. I'm gonna sneak between here and back in. Oh, no, okay. One second. This orange guy is messing with my plans. You know what, I can still do my plans. that pole there. I know I'm making life interesting and difficult here. Unnecessarily. There we go. I'll show you guys the load real quick and then uh, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you tomorrow. As soon as I can get myself parked here. It's t-shirt weather out here. Isn't that nice diesel? January t-shirt weather. <laughs> it's plus 16 Celsius outside right now. Oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. If you were wondering, it's wonderful out here. Just wonderful. Oh, that's nice. I just want to stay here. I don't want to go home. We got like uh, a couple of feet of snow at home last night, apparently. <laughs> so this is, this is the load. Very, very bendy steel. Very, very careful with it. Got my tarps up here. Almost didn't have space for them, but I'm not a big fan of how they built these frames. But we got it all secured and double secured so that nothing's gonna come of it. So anyway, thanks for joining me today. We're taking this all the way up to Fort McMurray, Alberta. I'm sitting out here in a t-shirt, plus 16 degree weather. We're going up to Northern Alberta, and from what I heard, it's about minus 40 up there right now. And if you're wondering, what's that in Fahrenheit? It's cold. It doesn't matter. Minus 40 is the same Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's where the two measurements meet. So it's minus 40 on both scales. So as you can tell, I don't want to go. But somebody up there needs this steel. And they're trusting me to bring it to them. I guess we'll go freeze our butt off and bring them their steel. So thanks for joining me today. Tune in tomorrow. Hopefully we won't have snow at the end of tomorrow's vlog, but likely we will. <laughs>